Good morning everybody, how are you doing? Um, so, it's still pretty early, but this morning I went to breakfast. Yesterday I didn't quite make it. Yeah, so it's currently about 10 a.m. Um, I woke up pretty early this morning and actually heading towards the Bazaar district. I just walked through Taxim Square and if you are new to Istanbul, Taxim Square is a really kind of busy, hustling, um, square with loads of nightlife, shopping, great places to eat. It's a great kind of shopping, eating district with really good nightlife as well. So loads of vintage trams and 19th century buildings going all across the east side of the pedestrian walkway and it makes some amazing photographs. So if you're a photographer, a filmmaker or just love taking pictures then definitely head there. I'm staying just by the Galata Tower which is a little bit further up from uh, Taxim Square but it's a great place to kind of stay, really absorb that part of the city because it is now considered one of the main places in Istanbul so I would highly highly recommend checking it out. This is going to be my first time kind of walking this way and I'm kind of gobsmacked at how beautiful it is on days like today where yesterday it started off really cloudy and rainy and I was still a little bit tired from the flight before but today I'm feeling awake, I'm energised but yeah on days like today it's just so sunny and beautiful and I can't wait to check out the Bazaar District so. So I'm now out of the Spice Bazaar, that was a bit hectic. Um, I tried to speak, but you literally couldn't hear a thing. So I'll talk to you guys about it now. The Spice Market, if you didn't know, took, took 67 years to build 
and was finally finished in 1664. With a population of over 17 million people, it's not hard to kind of realise how many people were actually in that kind of space. Um, it was crazy, crazy busy and it got a bit much. This district is truly the heart of Istanbul as a city today. This spice market is the oldest and largest indoor covered market in the whole world and it sells anything from dried spices to nuts, fruits and Turkish delights and clothes and things like that. I think this mosque has to be one of the best I've ever seen in the entire world. This mosque crowns one of the seven hills in Istanbul. As you can see behind me, it's just the whole skyline of Istanbul and it's just, it's just beautiful. This mosque was built by Suleiman I, also known as the Magnificent, and it was built between 1550 and 1557. This mosque has four minarets and ten balconies and it's said to represent the fact that Suleiman was the fourth of the Ismaili sultans to rule the city and the tenth sultan after the start of the empire. The mirab inside is covered with Isnik tiles and the whole of the interior is covered with just beautiful mother of pearl stained glass windows um, and it's just it's just incredible so if you are in Istanbul this has to be one of the main things you do um, actually to be honest everything in this video is kind of everything you need to be doing in Istanbul because it's just incredible